This all. Fine, heck with it. Heck with ya. Is this all you guys do is just bomb around in the yeah, side by side? We're trying to find my orange juice. You lost it. <laughs> it's gone. Oh my. Maybe it's my belly. Oh, good night. So we got a pretty exciting day today, or I should say outside work, which is exciting, right? We got this thing done, new tarp on it. We're gonna get this out, hook the planter up. Dad's digging the center of the driveway out. He's on the way down right now to uh, start that process. We'll show you as we get into it here. Grind them till you find them. Oh, this truck, she's not great. She's not great, but she gets the job done. Come on. What's going on with you? Uh, got her parked in her resting spot for a couple of weeks yet. We ready to get the planter? Yeah. Looking good. wasn't wanting to run and start that's why we had to retune it so how did this all go it would turn over it would fire then it would die and then it would start back up and run just fine and we dealt with that since last spring we replaced the ECU last spring retuned it worked off season till fall then it started the same issue long story short what we found it to be, it went down to kibble. They put a new ECU on it again, and that didn't fix it. What it came down to be was the factory wiring harness came, and they never stripped the wire off fully and crimped the end on, and it wasn't getting a good enough connection, and it took 2,500 hours before it finally burnt that end off and caused all them issues and two ECUs that probably didn't need to be replaced. It was all due to a one little 10 cent wire, thousands of dollars of work done. But it's fixed now, it's retuned, so she should run just fine. Okay, we've got six sets of hoses to hook up, a bunch of wires. Yeah, I got a rig with grease in it, nice. Unfold it, put some seed in and go, right? In theory, in theory that's how that works, but it's never ever that easy. We got all our wires and hoses routed here, I think. We should actually like unfold it, make sure nothing gets stretched or pulled, and uh, get the stops out of it. Remember how to run it, yeah. We gotta go get Eric. There's still snow back there. I know there's still snow back there. So dad isn't quite ready for gravel yet, so I'm running down to the end of the road here. Got a load of gravel with the belly dump, and I'm going to pick him up and let dad do his thing here for a bit. Morning. You just bring the whole half gallon with, huh? Well, it was easier in a cup, so... Oh my. Yeah. How's the hammer riding? Rough. Yeah. As usual. Yeah. <laughs> but it's it's working out. I was happy to see I had a nine nine ton road uh, going to my house, yep. so I didn't uh, didn't have to worry nothing about that. <laughs> so this is what we're doing to the driveway because the mud always squeezes up in the center, especially in the springtime when the frost is coming out. So he's just digging the center out. We've done this a lot down that way years back. So we know it works. So then we just drive the belly dump right over the center of this and dump gravel right in there. It works pretty good. That should be a good seed bed. You're looking a little rusty from winter. It's a good thing I 
don't have to run it with my knee. Yeah, it's a little hooky jerky, jerky rookie, something like that. It yeah. Should be fun to run the digger through this mess of everything, chunks and. I'm surprised to see it looks like there's some clay there. Yeah, I don't know. It's like there's maybe three inches of clay on top of the black dirt. So maybe that's the issue. Or maybe the whatever they call it. Somebody told me what it was called, but here we go with a scuff. Should I knock the front windshield out? No, let's not do uh, that. Maybe they finally got all the black dirt out of the ditch and then they topped it off with the clay. I don't know, but... Was... Back in the road! I thought I remember... You going deeper last time? Yeah, I think that was overkill. We'll redo it, or you can redo it in 40 years. Oh my. How am I supposed to straddle that? I barely make it over the pit. <laughs> You'll learn. It'll be fine. Anyways, he's got a lot of digging here to do. I think he's going to go down to the ditch. So we'll let him do some work. What's going on here? We need some help with the planter update. Oh boy. Well done, for the professional. Nice! For the professional uh, AMS guy on the farm. We better be calling this guy because he ain't this cow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Brody said we got to rearrange the shed so we can get the planter hooked up, updated, tested, and then parked in the shed. So he's moving all of the quads out of the shed. So we updated the screen. You did or Precision? Someone did. Doggo took it in. Okay. Um, and they said the first time that you hook it up to the planter, it's going to push software to all of the V drives and all the controllers. And so there's maybe about 150 of them on there that are supposed to get updated. Now they said, don't turn it off while it's doing the process. So how many hours do you think this might be? I'm hoping it's quick, but I also <laughs> have my doubts that it'll even do anything to be, yeah, to be getting with. I see them flashing, all the lights are flashing. They look angry. Something's happening. Dating wow. firmware. Is stuff turning green? Was that always green? I think that was always green. I see a lot of red. That don't sound good. That'll go away. We're at 30%. Perfect. <laughs> it's going quicker I than did expected. My job. <laughs> All right. So we've got an issue. We can't get it out of the shed because we can't make it fold because we have no power to the planter. I pulled this apart, and sometimes since the last time we've unhooked something, it's corroded and got to get this new because we're not getting a good connection. On top of that, our 2020 has deleted everything internally, so we can't even operate the planter. So they're gonna come out sometime this week and like rebuild the file, or I don't know, they're gonna do something. Reset it up. Computers. So, computers, yep. I'm just glad like we ain't looking at 70 degrees outside and the field's dug, and here we sit with our finger in a place we don't want. So, next project. Doggo wants us to go dump that truck. That goes fishing. Looks like we got one that didn't make it. Yuck. It's a big carp. Yuck. He's so, getting so good he can fish with it. <laughs> oh, he must be bored. No, unfortunately the lake that dad lives on, which this creek or giant river drains, drains it. it uh, froze out last winter and what that means is there's so much snow on the ice that no oxygen gets in the water. I really don't Why don't didn't look he make at, a straighter trend? <laughs> Am I supposed to keep the tires out Don't look at me to know anything about fish, but a lot of the fish, if not all of the fish, have died and now they're floating down creek and up on shorelines and it's just disgusting and really, really sad. And the lake has an aerator, but the DNR said not to turn it on and then by the time they did say to turn it on, it was already froze out and they said turn it back off. Okay, what do we got here? Evaluating. So, we've got the uh, trench dug, now Eric's got to straddle this and belly dumper right into the trench. You think he got this? I'm nervous, so... <laughs> Should I go down, turn around, and come out and empty out on the way out? Because I ain't going to have any speed right here. I don't think you got to go very fast, because we're going to need... It's going to take a lot to fill that. I think, like, Oops. second year and just let her seep out. Yeah, I know how this goes. Then I go too slow and then we get hung up, stuck. <laughs> one wheel down in the trench. Oh, come on now. Have some confidence in yourself. No confidence. I'll drive ahead of you in reverse. You stay out of my way. I'll push you out of the way. <laughs> I see a delivery truck coming and I really hope that ain't coming into our yard. I am waiting for some stuff, but... Hello! Hello! I'm very 
concerned that that's coming in here. I'm pretty scared that that's coming in this driveway. Get your big rig out of the way. Yeah, he's definitely coming this way. That's coming up here. That's perfect speed. Turn to the right a little bit. Looking good, looking good. How do you think this crossroad country truck's gonna get up here? This ain't gonna be good. He's gonna look at this and say, what in thunder <laughs> am I supposed to do with that? I couldn't convince him to do it. I couldn't do it. He wouldn't do it. He says, I'm not doing that. You guys are crazy. Maybe, but it works. So you're just gonna drop the pallet off at the end of the road. You're looking good, perfectly centered. He's gotta go back to town to get another load. That would be a bad deal to drop that in there. See you in an hour. <laughs> you guys like, are you filming me? I said, no, not you, just your truck. <laughs> it's nice oh. to have heat, Duggo. Yeah, it is. Duggo! It's dinner time! Wind, that wind. It's cold. Okay, uh, yeah, instead of me Snapchatting. Whoa, we been, almost rolled. I should have been telling Eric, slower, slower. Yeah, that's what happens with you and all your social media accounts you run. That's it, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> and a 1.30 PT appointment. We gotta get this carp, pick him up, take back home to the sows. We don't have pigs no more. Oh, that's right. Grandpa said uh, pigs used to eat carp. Well, we, we did try carrying some carp home when we were kids and uh, feeding them to the hogs, but they they had no interest in them. So I don't know, I suppose maybe... You were feeding your pigs too good. They well, right. Hungry. Maybe 80 years ago, back <laughs> in 1930s, maybe the pigs were a lot more hungry than they were in more modern days. So, so the dead carp, they just pushed them around in the pen and then we got to haul them out <laughs> in the manure spreader. <laughs> All right, let's yeah. go. I'm hungry. Let's go. Come no, on. we're it's staying faster. here. I got nothing to do today except sit around. So, uh, could you bring me dinner? I'm a little hungry. Okay. I got that PT at 1.30, so my day's pretty much over already. See ya. So, we, we did this area a couple years ago, but we stopped. Actually, I think you can see it right here on the ground, because the gravel actually then holds moisture. You can see right where we stopped, right here. And I think he's gonna dig up over the hill, or definitely on the top of the hill. Well, now we just got word that the gravel pit's only open till two o'clock, so he's not gonna dig anymore, or else we'll have a big hole in our driveway for people to leave and come in, and yeah. This was supposed to be like a couple hour ordeal, and then, of course, the truck has to try to come up the driveway. You're back already. <laughs> Yeah, change of plans, imagine that. So I got bad news about your planter. My planter? Right yeah, now. I don't know, Some someone either deleted or it's lost all the information, so all your offsets, all your planter measurements, everything is gone, everything. It's like it's a brand new planter, so we get to reset up everything in the field, all the flag testing and oh, come all the on. offsets and measurements and speed. We and took pictures up. of that, didn't we? I don't know. You better look for it because it's gone now. So they got to come out and reset the planter up. So it's the planter or the GPS screen in the track? GPS screen. Well, where can that go? I don't know what buttons you like to push. Well, it wasn't me. <laughs> but that's very discouraging news. You know, the old 7000 planter never had these issues. <laughs> Finger pickup. Uh, All day long you'd plant away. You have to have lights on the monitor. You have to have like seven or eight of those things to keep up with yours once you do finally get it going. Well, who's fooling who? You buy the big planter, then you gotta farm a little bit more, and then, yeah, it's 7,000. I'm gonna go get the 1086 <laughs> and that old 7,012 bro, and see you. <laughs> All right, I've been busy, busy, busy. I actually unhooked that truck 
from the spray trailer, unhook the hopper bottom from that truck. That's gonna be pulling this one this spring. This is gonna be pulling this this spring. We gotta get a battery in this, make sure this runs, because I would assume in the next couple weeks if the weather is decent that we will be spreading some fertilizer and maybe getting in the field. That's still a couple weeks though, but it's gotta be ready. Tires need to be looked over. And what was delivered on that truck at the end of the road was my completing piece to the puzzle. So this is a uh, fiber boom. So I'm not sure how this is all gonna play out because I haven't done it before, but I believe the boom's gonna be mounting onto here and comes back to like here. And then the hose doubles back up on itself. So I'm gonna unbox this and see what I all got. I swear, all these guys do is just drive around. This all... Fine, heck with it. Heck with ya. Is this all you guys do is just bomb around in the yeah, side by side? We're trying to find my orange juice. You lost it. <laughs> it's gone. Oh my. Maybe it's my belly. Oh, good night. All right, so... Oh, we did find something out. The fields are muddy. Yeah. Yeah. I got the tractor out there. <laughs> It's not ready yet. <laughs> On the edge of the gravel. Yeah, maybe we can plant the middle. Wow. <laughs> so it's the next day and we've started on the boom project. We just mounted this. This is what the boom is going to slide up on and we'll get latched to the trailer with. So we just welded on some brackets there. And then to launch the boom, you pull that. Now we have to get this set it on there and attach it to the corner post of the cage tote rack. Yep. Can you side shift right? Yep. Woo! Okay. I've gotten orange stuff all over me, Brody. Decided to weld rather than bolt because drilling sucks. <laughs> Look, it's everyone's favorite beagle. Hey buddy, what have you been into? Yeah, you've been exploring. I haven't seen him all morning. We got the shop door open. You've been out chasing kitties, haven't you? Oh, this is what he thinks of the camera. Puts his butt right towards it. Hey, hey, look what you've done, dirty beagle. Well, we got it mounted and square and straight and it all folds like it should. So the idea of this is instead of a hose reel, a hose, that hose in fact, it's gonna go through this pipe, up here, down there, all the way to the front of the trailer to where the pump will be supplying water. And you'll have a whip hose, is what they call it. Comes, loop it back up here, connect it to here when you're transporting down the road. Take this off, we can load straight off the back of the trailer like you know we like to do. And also the boom can swing out if we're over a ditch or in the yard or wherever we wanna be. It's gonna be nice. What do you think of this? <laughs> Me and Brody been doing hard work here. Brody's got a fabricated up little latch back here that uh, holds this on the back of the truck. We mounted that there to hold the hose. We put a U-bolt there to hold the hose because we want as much length because we couldn't go with a longer boom here just because of the loop. So we went with the eight foot boom and we wanted the longest hose possible. We could have made it shorter and not had the wrap around the back, but that extra four feet, eight feet actually, because, yeah. So we got that mounted. Um, I got to do some wiring yet, but we got the hose ran from the front of the trailer where the pump's going to be pressurizing here is where we're going to put in the solenoid that actually will supply air to this to blow this out. And this is a really cool feature from the fiber. Right there is a switch that will push air in there to blow it out. And when you are satisfied with the line being empty, 
turns it off. Why That's you, sweet. Why don't you demo it for them? They, they've seen it? They haven't seen it. Not all the mechanism. Okay, okay, cool. You, you demonstrate, you big. Demonstrate. All right. Look at that. That's custom Brody work there. There's too much Jeez. stuff. Hopefully so there ain't long. welders out in the field. That's perfect. Fill it up. Yep. <laughs> so we have lots of extra hose now, which is going to be really good. Come on. This is my first time doing this. Come on. It's all bound up on all this garbage laying around again. So we don't clean our work zone ever. There we go. There we go. I promise this will get a lot smoother. It'll get a lot faster, I hope. Come on now. You got enough? Yeah, it's not gonna fall off, I don't think. What if we want to put a bigger one on? A lot of grinding. We'll need a longer trailer we if we need a bigger one. We won't take the bolt off, we'll just cut the weld. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. This project, next time you see it, it'll probably be totally complete, and I'm excited about that. And then it can be used. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.